Welcome to CY Entertainment Tonight. You are watching Trading Photos. My name is Cinda, Cinda Jordan, I am your host. And today I'm here to introduce my guests, Natasha Britishana and Zachary. Natasha is a fashion designer and Zachary is her manager. Welcome the both of you. Thank you. Thank you, Cinda. Thank you for being my guest. So now tell me about your lifestyle, because I know your lifestyle is really glamorous. It's, it's really amazing to me. You are a fashion designer, a very popular one as well. Um, and actually, you're the one that pretty much got me started out in New York. Um, mm -hmm. Well, with the Facebook world. Oh. Right, because I, I wasn't, I, I was on Facebook yeah. before I met you, um, but when I was on Facebook, it was just friendly things, mm -hmm. but then after I met you and you and I became partners and started working together, we were doing fashion shows together, I just turned my page over to all business. Good. So it's because of you. Oh, I'm so glad you did that. <laughs> it's actually fun. Right? It is. It's a lot of fun. Yes. And yeah. thank you very much, I have to say, because I never, I don't think I ever properly thanked you. So thank You're you welcome. for that. You're welcome. And um, I want to hear more about you. And I'd like to, to tell your story today. I'd like you to tell your story today about Natasha Britishana and her costume designs. Okay. If you may. Well, I always like to see beautiful things, beautiful people, beautiful environment. And since I grew up in a kind of not really glamorous um, situation, and I always loved classical music, theater, and um, singing, dancing. And it helped me to create interesting costumes and attract people who like to do the same things what I do. I actually created my own theater when I was a child. I brought all the kids to the apartment, dressed them up with everything I had in the closet, <laughs> made my sister like a princess. <laughs> and uh, well, after that, we'll just... Then I went to gymnastics, learned how to dance. Then I went to... Um, fashion school, learn how to sew, and actually my mom started helping me to how to create clothes, and I do, did it my own fashion. Then, I don't know, it just tell happened me, naturally. Yeah. Tell, me, tell me how you got started as a child. As a child. As a child designer, right? You started as a yeah. child? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the thing is, we didn't have money, and uh, I had to wear very boring stuff. And uh, when I s learned how to sew, I decided to look more fashionable. So, and it happened naturally, and uh, people liked my clothes. Then, when I grew up, I created clothes for my children, for my family. Actually, I cut hair, I did makeup, and... Um, my sister came to me one day and she said, Natasha, I would like to be in a beauty competition. Can you help me? I said, okay. I drop everything. I dress you up. I did your makeup. I did your hair. I trained you how to dance. And she won fifth place. And I made all the people uh, backstage become friendly with them. Actually coordinate the lights, music. <laughs> directed my own thing for her. Then next year, another girl came to me and she said, Natasha, I would like to be in a beauty competition. Can you help me? I said, okay, I did the same thing. And she won second place. So, and then I met a lot of people from music industry, theater, dance, and one of the dance choreographers invited me to work with her. So I worked with her and I started meeting singers dancers, the same thing. And I learned how to dance with this dance studio. Then I created my own dance group. And then one of the producers saw my 
show and invited me to Almaty in the circus. So I have my dance group wearing my designs and working with professionals for a year. Then I came back home um, and I'm nervous now right? <laughs> <laughs> because I loved it. So and then I came to America and started doing shows here. Then I had a break for 10 years because I moved to Florida. I made costumes for belly, belly dancers, ballroom dancers, ice skaters. Then I came back to New York again, started doing shows here. And since then I'm just doing it and doing it. And I love it. Thank you. Okay, so you have done, uh, you said you did work with the circus. Tell yeah. me more about that. Oh, it was very good. We lived there in the circus. Mm -hmm. It's um, Kazakhstan Almaty National Circus. So I had my dance group. It was like five girls. They were all wearing my designs. We just worked with a professional choreographer. We had rehearsals every day. Performance, I don't remember. I think every day we perform on stage, including me. I had to perform with them. And we met a lot of people who performed with us, like who um, riding horses, working with the bears, a lot of animals, and uh, people who do tricks under the roof. How do they say it? Ac the Acrobats. 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 Mm -hmm. It was pretty amazing. What did you do? I was dancing there, and, and I oh, was you were the, one of the dancers? managing my group. Oh, my and girls. I was managing the girls too. Yeah. Oh, okay, very nice. I was making sure that they're ready for the performance. They do rehearsals. They um, wearing proper designs, and um, actually, we also work after the circus. I mean, in the same city, I found another jobs for them. So, in the club, we showed our routine, and we made extra money there. It was nice. Oh, wow. Sounds good. Now, speaking of managing, Zachary, you say that you manage Natasha. Well, let's I do hear manage. Your, let's hear I, your no, story. I, I actually <laughs> manage her. I, I'm not talking about with her show. I'm just, just joking. Um, I actually, I, I would call myself a production manager because I oversee a lot more um, to make things happen when it comes to any sort of, uh, well, production, uh, anything she does. I make sure she does what she's supposed to do. She knows what she does, has to do, but I keep it organized. And that's kind of how I, how I work that. And if she uh, ha has any contractual things, I make sure that's all done correctly and things of that nature. And That's um, important. Yeah, 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 it is. And I do enjoy what she does. So it's, it's, it kind of uh, goes hand in hand. I, I actually met her before I really got involved in it, but at one point I decided to actually go and it was the Winter Film Awards, uh, it was 2014 when okay. I mm -hmm. actually went. And then I just wanted, I was like a little kid, just wanting to help her. Yeah. And I kept on following her. She said, can I help you? <laughs> I said, well, <laughs> that's cute. Let and I was probably see. one of many doing that, but I decided mm -hmm. to keep on pursuing uh, what she's doing. <laughs> right. And then, uh -huh. um, then um, that's how it all started, really. And then I just started uh, getting more involved with her. From a personal level, I suppose, too, but in right. addition, I started uh, working with mm -hmm. her and learning how it all comes together. So, I enjoyed it, and I still do. Yeah. And you even did some modeling with her. Oh, yes, yes. Right. Yes. I know, I was there. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> I have to do that part. I enjoyed you know, all that myself. <laughs> I trained him. <laughs> yes, she trained me to walk a little better. I still don't have a zombie look, but it's yes. appropriate tonight, at least. <laughs> so, but it's a lot of fun, right? Yeah, it's fun. Right. It's really fun. Yes, and you always, Natasha, you always seem to fill the room with um, with an, a wonderful audience who really appreciates your work. Thank you, Cinda. As well yeah. as myself, <laughs> <laughs> I can say that a zillion times now. But you really are a very, very well-groomed designer. Thank you. You've done a very wonderful job, and I'm very happy to have you here on my set, just to talk about that and also to show your designs, which is coming up next. I really <laughs> like that walk. <laughs> I love it, it. It shows somebody who has a lot of confidence. <laughs> 
so cute. This looks so theatrical. And I you know. You can actually see he's a, he is a musician, and you can see it with his tambourine. It's it just kind of flows. He's a very talented designer. And actually, he is a real real serious musician. Absolutely, serious. yeah. He plays bass guitar. Yeah. And then we have and Rosanna. With the beautiful beehives and the beautiful contrast of colors. I really enjoy that, too, actually. With the black and the pink and the red. And of course, who designed it? Natasha Britishnaya. Yes, that's right. These fabulous designs. Coming on out Thank again, we have, we have Alexis Cook. <coughs> and she has this nice fall look. I really <coughs> enjoy that. And it really uh, flows with the season, given that Halloween's coming around the corner. What do you think, Natasha? I think it is coming. <laughs> <laughs> so. Well, the good thing is when Halloween comes, it'll come again. <laughs> She's dropping the leaves. <laughs> yes, but look no, at that. I love it. It's too beautiful. No, no. And she really, really displays I your imagery very well. Yes. The everything. Amazing. It's really... <laughs> and again, really amazing. we have Cynthia. <laughs> Now, Cynthia, again, I really enjoy, I keep on repeating, it gets a little yeah, nauseating, because I no, tried on these beehives. Yes! I was really going to just go walk around town. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually going for a jog in one of those things. I, I mean, I didn't do it's it, a good time but Natasha had to, to stop that. me from going for it. Yeah. <laughs> Natasha, come on. I had no shirt. <laughs> Can't I had some it. Let it advertise. I know. Because <laughs> I just want it to be myself. <laughs> But again, more Natasha's dark imagery, kind of a Dracula, maybe kind of, yes, you know, it is. very black, but again. Blackula. No. Black <laughs> <laughs> but I like it again with this season. I love it. And purple. You know, and, and Natalie here, she, again, she has the red and the pink and the foliage. And I like that too. She's the one that sucks your blood. <laughs> and she's like a red princess of the forest. And her own okay, imagery so is really nice. I, like. I always like someone who can do piercings. The worst I've ever done, or well, the most I've ever done, rather, is my ears. And anything beyond that. But when someone does and does it right like she does, it looks very nice. So poised. Particularly with your accessorized yeah. jewelry, Natasha. Mm. <laughs> Look at those wings. I know. Amazing. It looks like she's actually flying. So beautiful. Oh, my God. Look so at beautiful. that. I know. <laughs> She is going to be modeled tonight also in Skyron, wearing yes. different and, design. And another Gina. Woman, Gina, is she, she Eugenia. Is Eugenia. Say her name Nikitina. Well, Natasha. One more time. Ooh, Eugenia Nikitina. Yes. She's from Russia. She is from Russia. Beautiful. And she, the feathers go well with the actual leaves, and I really like that. Look at that. You know, we'll think that this feathers and are changing She's going to model seasons. tonight, too. Classy piece, I think. Yeah. Very nice. Very, and very nice. She's amazing. Look at this. Look at the movement. She's very graceful. Wings. I think, if I understand it correctly, oh. she actually has experience in yoga, which would explain her flexibility. Oh, that's why. Yeah. Amazing. Beautiful. Beautiful. Natasha Berishnaya. 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 Yes. Natasha Berishnaya. Natasha Berishnaya. <laughs> okay. Hi, my next guest is Jamie Falamio. He is a teacher of music and art. And he has this display here that he, he's so creative. He's, he's not only a teacher of music and art, but Jamie also is more like an actor as well. <laughs> he, um, he has these masks and I think a little show that you want to give us, you know, to, to go along with your collection yeah, of masks. Yeah, so yeah, like I said, I make masks as well as a few other art projects on the side as well as paintings and comic books. But I do like making a lot of masks and costumes as well as props because I feel like it helps me bring a lot of the stuff that I put on the paper to life. So like a lot of these that I've made right here are things I just drew down as characters and now I'm just bringing them to the forefront and just seeing them like this just 
you know, out in the front like this, it's just wonderful. So, for, for example, you know, we have some masks like this, which is like a masquerade mask, and it, you know, it has some little bit of skulls over here, and try to mix it like a different bunch of colors, reflective colors, some spots. But also, I like the... This is cute. Oh, thank you. And then I uh, got another one, which Wait, is... this is the nose, right? Oh, yeah, that's the so, nose. So it actually goes like this, right? Yep, goes up like that. Ooh. Like classic masquerade mask going through the ball. <laughs> ball. And then there's also I ones like which that. are the opposite, not much covering the eyes and, and forehead, but covering the mouth. And I guess like you say a lot of these are inspired by uh, j like Japanese films, Japanese culture, whether it be a samurai mask or even a, an opera mask that they would have in their theater company or even something from Japanese horror film like o like Open uh, Mappa. I'm probably misspelling their name, but you know, just kind of like that old folklore type of look. And I add some stuff, some stuff like lips and tongue Ooh, to give it more texture. Look at that tongue coming all the way out. I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> But also, like, I like to make things um, not just a standard max. I like, I'm really Ooh. into making things change. Like, they start as one thing, but turn to another. So I got this one right here. But this one, okay. wait, before we move further, <laughs> I'm like, this, these teeth are sharp. <laughs> what are you using? It's like seashells or something? Just clay. Just clay that clay? I would just cook it in Wow, the this is amazing. Oh, this is beautiful. I love these masks. Oh, thank you. Oh, my God. And then, like I said, I like to try to experiment, like have them start as one thing, but then they turn to another. So, for example, we got a mask like this. Looks pretty basic. I mean, a little, a little different, but still not a regular mask. But then it would open up like this and reveals a whole lot more. So wow. it reveals a big gaping maw of a mouth. That's some goal to kind of like draw you in there. And then also mm. other ones like this, once again, pretty standard, normal looking. However, it does oh. change. So this would pop off like this. And then the wearer could obviously either, you know, swing it around, flaunting it, making it look like you know, an extra part of the extension of their body. So it could be a weapon or just some extra flair. And, like, mm. and because, like you said, I'm a musician, I also like to not only make you know, like simple art pieces, but I also like to make, try to make instruments and incorporate my art as well. So, mm -hmm. for example, I made some tambourines because they, they're pretty much the instruments that kids like, are like this one of the first things that kids could understand, you know, playing. It's a percussion instrument, you gotta shake it, you gotta understand the beat. Right. But also, you know, it's something they could look at as well, you know, and get really excited about, you know, playing. So a lot of these are inspired by, you know, nature, music, as well as you know, dreams, uh, things I want to see and just put onto a canvas. And just a lot of these I actually made when I was in New Orleans, so I was really inspired by that culture, the music, the, 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 the myths of New Orleans, the energy, the people. And also, like I said, just things that I really want to see that I don't usually get to see on TV or film or even in books, but I want to put it on there. I want people to see what I see. I want people to enjoy. I want people to have fun. I want it to inspire others to want to create things that are different, weird, fun, silly. These I want really them to nice. enjoy what they do as well as <laughs> not only look at it, but have it be an extension of themselves. This is beautiful. I love it. Thank you. I love percussions too. I do. Wow, you have a really nice collection. And I know this is a small portion of your collection. You have a lot more, and you know, so. But um, we can definitely find Jamie yes. at... Yes, I am know. on Facebook, Jamie Filomio, and I'm also on nice. Instagram. Most of my art stuff is on Instagram, but I like to post a few things on Facebook. Good. Okay, so now we know how to find you. <laughs> and also, I'm in a band called the Fiji Mermaids, which I am the bass player and singer of. Get out of town. Yep. You're a bass player too, and huh? And a bass player as well, yes. Wow, I got to check that out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's really good. Thank you so much Thank for you. sharing you for your costumes me. and your, I mean, your masks and your percussions. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> And um, and you was also in Natasha Bear, uh, yes. uh, Natasha's show. Um, you was actually the first one that came out. Yes. 
So we got to see your walk and your <laughs> your theatrical walk, right. that is. <laughs> yes, it was wonderful. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you for having me. Hi, I'm here today with Rosanna Mastronati. She's a model and she's, today she's here to demonstrate cane covers and how cane covers can make a change in the look of your wardrobe. People need canes and when they walk around with canes, we don't want to just give them something plain you know, I mean, it's boring. When you look at it, it's boring. So when you see someone walking down the street, you want to say, oh my God, look at that. She's like, she looks too cool, you know. That's what I know I want. If I ever had to have a cane ever in my life, I want to be like the coolest looking person walking around with a cane. So what I did was I designed cane covers so you can actually look really cool with the cane cover. So we have a couple of furs. We have a white one and then we also have a brown one. This one is furry like this but not quite as much fur. These covers you can easily take them off. Here's the demonstration of how it works. You slide it right out and you just slide another one in. They're like the most coolest things to walk down the street with. You'll attract a lot of attention if that's what you like or just designer looking just something different you know so that people are not saying oh she needs a cane, you know. I mean, at some point, everyone might need a cane. But at least, when you're walking down the street, you can have a really nice cane. Pull it down. Just pull it all the way. Let me see. See, this is like really, really cool right here. You know, you have a cane that's long enough to cover a cane, a cover that's long enough to cover your, you know, your cane and you get to walk really nicely with it, you know, look really, like if you're going out that night, then you have this, you know, it's like really amazing. And then there's also, we have, you can pull that one off. And let's take a look at some other styles. And these are super easy to take on and off, by the way. You just slide <laughs> it right off, right? Slide it right off. And slide it right on. So if you get more than one, then you'll have, you can have some for each and every one of your outfits. Or some of your outfits anyway. <laughs> Depending on what you buy. <laughs> But these are really cool. They're really adorable. And we have different styles and we have more styles that we're actually going to put out there. But just to show you, you know, how the demonstration of how it works and how you can leave your house looking more stylish, here you have this cane. And a lot of people actually love to wear, I know women in particular, they love the animal print. So we have the animal print for whoever, whomever. And then we have a different print here, which really can complement your outfit if you're wearing something purple or all black, which we all know that everyone loves black. <laughs> <laughs> so we have that and it's just 
just really, it's really a nice touch to your garment, to your outfit, and a change of look for what people are used to seeing. Because these days, the canes are just silver, you know? It, it's, there's no, no life to it. We're bringing some life to it. This is life you know, to your collection of garments. You know, you walk down the street and, you know, you have these cute little canes. So, this is what we have today. And this is what we wanted to show you, our collection, which we will have a lot more of in the future. All right. Thank you, Rosanna, for coming here to demonstrate my cane covers. Here. I'm happy to be here. They're beautiful. Thank you very much. Um, so, yeah, so, I mean, I know that you're a model. Can you just tell us how we can find you? Yes, you could find me on Facebook, Rosanna Mastronardi. And you could find me on Instagram, at Rosanna Mastronardi. And how do you spell the name again? R-O-S-A-N-N-A. -N -N -A. Rosanna, okay. M as in Mary, A-S-T. R O N A R D I. Okay. I'm Italian. <laughs> very nice. I love your name. It's very nice. Thank you. And you're gorgeous. <laughs> oh, as are you. Stop it. <laughs> Thank you for having me today. You're welcome. Thanks for being on my show. Thank you.